In a matchup of old Big East rivals, the UConn Huskies hosted the Boston College Eagles in the second home game for UConn in their final season at the current J.O. Christian Field. Mike Woodworth got the Huskies rolling in the bottom of the first with a triple before coming around to score on an Anthony Prado double to right. With another multi-hit day, Woody has raised his season average to a whopping 398. The Huskies look to keep the rally going, but BC center fielder Sal Freelich robbed John Tope of a homer, going way up over the fence to take one back. UConn brought home another run in the fourth as Thad Phillips blooped one into right that scored Fedco and put UConn up 3-1. to one. From there, the pitching staff took over. Colby Dunlop got the start, going five strong, scattering six hits and not walking anybody. He ended his outing by spinning a 1-6-3 double play. Head coach Jim Penders had high praise for his sophomore starter. I thought he was fantastic. I thought Colby did a really good job. You know, he gives up some hits, and that's okay. And he needs to understand that. When he gives up hits, you can still win the game. It's when you give up hit, walk, hit batsman, then a single. That's when you can't give up hits. You can't give the freebies in between the hits. So he didn't give up any freebies. After Dunlop exited, Caleb Worcester took over, throwing two perfect innings. CJ Dandeno pitched the eighth, getting out of a jam with a sweet barehanded snag, and Jacob Wallace locked it down in the ninth, lowering his ERA to .56 and picking up his seventh save in the process. The Huskies head back down to Florida this weekend for a weekend series against Central Florida. With a record of 15-8, and eight, they look to continue their momentum as they get into the heart of American conference play. From J.O. Christian Field, I'm Noah Watt, UCTV Sports.